Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're doing the gold recap and we're not quite plat yet because we're one win off but we can lose and win and we'll still get it so I'm basically doing it now so I don't have to do it later when I'm streaming. Um, so yeah. we're through gold. We didn't lose yet where as you can see we have 47 wins on Evelyn and zero losses and then two here, one here. Basically we have 50 wins in a row. Um, the MMR we ended at is like diamond four and the MMR that we started gold at is around like gold one plat four. So basically the gold elo on this account was basically like plat MMR. Um, the journey through the all of plat. So we had like a few frustrating games where people would like grief us by picking like way too many AP champs or just like not playing the game or whatever, or if we got tilted or whatever. Um, but overall it was pretty similar to the other elos and there weren't two big issues, it was just um, play the game, don't tilt, chill, and win. Um, and yeah, I chose a game that was kind of losable, so if you like tilt this game or you get anxious or something, then um, you kind of lose. So the two main differences with this elo compared to all of the other elos are one, that now you can sometimes like highly prefer to play for lane instead of playing for invade. Um, how you decide this is if your lanes are like getting stomped, if your lanes have no prior, if your laners are like, I don't know, struggling really hard, if the enemy jungler is like tank and so on, right? The more of this stuff stacks up, the more you want to play for lane um, and like kill laners and stuff, right? Uh, and if the enemy laners are pushing and stuff. And the weaker the enemy jungler is, the more squishy he is, the more prior you have, the more AD laners you have and so on and so forth, the more you want to invade. That's generally the rule with that. And the second difference is that now sometimes we had games where we don't get completely cocaine leads at five minutes and we had to actually do something after five minutes to win the game. So not every game was decided at five minutes here, but rather we had to like win them after five minutes. So that meant that we had to like mentally prepare ourselves to not like tilt, not like overdo stuff and so on. So like make sure you keep clearing, make sure you're not like completely griefing or something. And so on. Okay. So this game, nothing special. We started the top side because we have Draven Senna bot lane, double prio, and I don't want to path into AP laners. We're really unhappy, by the way, with our comp because AP, AP, AP. Not that unhappy though because we have double AD bot lane, but Draven Senna is both horrible for Evelyn. Draven wants kills, Senna is completely fucking useless for Evelyn. So just completely unhappy with my comp. And I forgot to buy items so one as well. Okay, so we're just clearing. Nothing to really see. If you want to see me clear, you can just look at the clear videos. Um, and yeah, we clear everything. This lane is like a disaster, right? Nothing to do here. Um, not diveable, not killable, not anything. So just sucks. Just sucks. I'm sure that many of you will relate to this. Nothing to do. Have to wait for shit scuttle to spawn. You're just like, well, nothing. I'm pretty sure TF reported as well. So I'm just like, well, shit. I don't know. I tried anyway, because only thing I really have on the map to do, unless I want to straight up base instantly. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's doable at all. Nothing to do here. But we get some prior here. So I'm like, maybe we can go like topside and try to contest this. But it was too late. And we both double voided here and it was just completely useless. But the one good thing here is that I think we saw that the Viego started bot side, right? You can see, okay. So you can see this camp is respawning, right? And we also saw that he started bot side. And what this tells me is that he did this stuff, right? And he did like this camp, right? So we did like kind of the same clear but opposite, right? But the difference here is that now he's stuck on top side and I'm also on top side, but I started top side and he didn't. So that means that no matter what, he's going to have to base. Right, thank you guys. Uh, no matter what, he's going to have to base. And I can actually full clear again without carrying. So that's like an interesting thing. So I traded a bit with him. And he's like there stuck basing. And I just like clear. I'm trying to get to Sorks and Dark Seal. And oh yeah, this by the way. Look at this. 
I ping this, he's like, yeah, he's bot side. Um, I might have even pinged again, maybe if I wasn't lazy. Uh, no, I didn't. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. That guy lane ganks and it works for him. It just, he just collects double kill. Lovely, dude. Lovely, right? Disaster. 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 We haven't gotten anything yet. And the enemy jungler just collected a free double kill. And I can't even get this. I can only get assist. I mean, not assist. I can only collect the XP from the cannon. But honestly, I don't even know if that was worth it because I got so little XP, it's like pathetic. If you look at my XP bar move, like it's pathetic. But okay, so we do this. We go mid again. And this guy's still faker. Still knows where to play, so... Good for him. I have Nimbus and Blast, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. If I get this kill, it's like pretty good, you know? Because this could be like my turning play. But the guy just flashes away and I'm just like, well, shit. Okay, then I'm going to blue buff. Okay, cool. Let's get level 6, right? Then the moment when I'm getting level 6, now everyone on the map is going to know that I'm level 6. Everyone on the map is going to know where I'm walking. It's just a disaster. Everyone on the map knows where I am and my bot lane is dying. It's just horrible, man. Just horrible. Just horrifyingly bad. A horrible position. We're 0-4. All I have is farm. I don't even have that much farm. Yeah, it's just not a good spot to be in. And I'm against like champs that counter me, like TF. Not a nice experience. Now I'm thinking, okay, maybe since Viego is still level 5, I can maybe play for invade on his red red buff. Or play to like fight him on Herald if he does that. But look, again, revealed. This whole enemy team just revealing me, the whole game. Ash revealing me, TF revealing me, like, God, shut the fuck up, get away from me, you fucking freaks of nature. You fucking freaks. And okay, I saw that he was doing this, and I was like, okay, where is he? So then I walk like this to meet him like here. When I find out he didn't um, go to this, and I find out he didn't go to this. So now, since he didn't go to any of these, that means that he did two camps and he blast combed over and then he did Herald, right? That has to click in your mind instantly, and you just walk there. Because if you don't instantly walk there, um, he will finish it. But then, I don't know, this is pink, this is pink, lovely man, I love my life. You have to use target champs only here, and notice, you can use target champs only with W. If you don't W him here, you will never win this. So make sure you have a button for target champs only. Look at my mouse. See? Target champs only. Use it. Otherwise, you can't click on this. If you don't get W here, you just lose. And this guy does whatever the fuck this is. I... Right. And while that guy is fighting the other guy, I just take this, kill this guy. There you go. Now game is completely in my hands. I'm 2-0. I got Herald. I just got like 900 gold. Actually more because I got shut down in Viego. I got 1050 gold or something. I just type GG here because in my mind, we won. I'm not going to throw this. Like I'm not going to fumble the bag. If you're not so consistent, I mean, that could have uh, even killed if Driven cancelled it. Time. But Cassie ended up killing. But if you're not so consistent, then maybe it's not like one of this yet, but I'm Really consistently gonna one out So now I wanna fight him again. I know he has no ult, and I'm pretty big, but I don't really have any laners, and Ash is there, so I'm like, eh, fuck it. I'll do some camps. So we do some camps, and then what? Just gank bot, right? We have ult soon. Like, what else can we do? If your laners are struggling, then gank. Might as well. Just waiting for my ult here, honestly, like, not really too much else to say. I just had to wait for my ult, because if I didn't have my ult there, like, what, would I just queue it? My Draven somehow died, which is fine for me, because now I will get more gold from the plates. And that's just 1 HP, so, yeah. I think here she walked up, she walked up so far, I could have actually killed her, but look, I got minion blocked. See? If I didn't get, like, blocked by the Herald and the minion, I could have actually walked into her and killed her. But fuck's sake, man. Riot games. Now, I don't want to do anything because I could die potentially if I force it. But then this guy decides to do whatever the fuck this is. And for some reason, my Senna can't auto-attack properly, so he doesn't die. But yeah, okay. I guess. Game technically is not 
that one. I just think it's the one because I have all of the lead. But technically, like, we're not even two ahead. So, yeah. We just go around. We end up finding the ass because she's just running around. We end up finding the trash. Whatever, it's just like a random fight. We take dragon because we want to make sure that enemy can't play for dragon soul point. And I might as well some already here and I don't have too much to do. I don't really want to do enemy camps because then I might just get collapsed on and I don't trust my teammates. And also, the thing is, um, this is kind of like flipped how it works, right? So sometimes you want to take the enemy camps first because if you take the enemy camps first, the enemy is going to fight your dragon, right? But then sometimes, if you take the enemy camps, enemy is still not going to fight your dragon. Like here, they probably won't fight me a dragon anyway because they're weaker, right? So I'm thinking that if I do dragon first, I can just invade them when they do their camps, you know? And then I'm just chilling. I have more opportunity to invade like this. So I kind of don't mind it. I not get really anything from the invade though. I'm just looking to get enough gold to, um, to get my mythic. But yeah, I'm still thinking of invading here. My team is not, but I don't care. I will invade. I wish I did a bit more damage, but I'm pretty sure I can't die here. I got exhausted, sadly, so I didn't get the kill. Sag, Sag, Sag. And I didn't get this kill either. And I didn't get that kill either, so I'm just Sag, Sag, Sag. And she missed, so I'm just Sag. And he got away, so I'm just Sag. Then I take like one camp. And Diab decides to ult on me. I'm trying to get my mythic still. And I see my Senna's here, so I just walk to her, but my Senna used the TF instead of me. When, look, if you're a Senna player like this, if your Evelyn is getting killed, you queue the Evelyn, not the TF. Because the damage here to TF doesn't really matter, because you're an auto attack champ and Evelyn has lower cooldowns, while TF is a bursty champ. So if he doesn't burst me, then I will die. But yeah, I decided to walk back in and just take it because I need to kill for my mythic. So yeah, I'm really hardcore chilling now. Just take some camps so that you don't fall behind. You can like try to kill enemy. Trash isn't using spells, so I just ult it. But somehow I didn't reach with my ult because I'm bad, apparently. I actually want to see this because I didn't look before. Depression. Then yeah, I, I got bored, so I tried to force on the Ash. Literally, like, there's nothing else to say, I just got bored. Like, literally, I just got bored. Also, I thought my Q would insta-go on her, but my Q decided to go on the minion, so that was fun. But it doesn't matter, because this was either way bad, I was just bored. And this is, like, the biggest issue I had in Plat. I would perma get bored, because my teammates would play bad, enemies would play bad, everyone would play bad. And I hated my drafts half the games. Like, if we look at my drafts, it's like, okay, it's like, okay, this game, it's like, okay, because the Volibear went like 80 items. This game is like, okay, but I would prefer not to have LeBlanc. This game is like, good, but I would prefer not to have Velkos, but okay. Um, this game is like, bad as fuck, because I have Vladimir Lux, both AP for whatever reason. Um, this game, I don't like it either, because I have Mordekaiser for whatever reason. I don't know why, but okay. Um, but I'm not minding it that much. This game, it was more of a player issue. And in this game, like AP, AP, Draven, Senna. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just could not, like, here again, Vladimir, I don't know. I just could not get a solo AP game in the silo. It was, like, not possible. Everyone wanted to play AP every game, I think. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Apparently, all the AP players in Plat. So, yeah, I don't know. Just fine pick, nothing to really say. Game is like pretty much free win at this point. You just make sure you take every camp from the enemy jungler. You make sure they don't get like a bunch of objectives or shutdowns or whatever. And then you just keep making picks whenever you have ult or whatever. And you win. So I tried to pick off Ash, tried to take enemy camps, I don't know, go mid, attack enemy. Like this guy's just inting. There's no way he can ever live. He exhausts me again, like a piece of shit. Then I looked if TF got gold card, he didn't, so I just didn't ult it. We go for Ash, we go for this guy, whatever, take Dragon, cool, and then DFF, so. 
not really too much to say. This ELO was kind of similar to the other ones. The main issue I really had in this ELO is, as I said before, the rules. Like, you cannot tilt in this ELO. Like, tilting is just horrible. Like, you need to not tilt, you need to clear, and you need to have a plan to end the game. Like, for example, your plan can be, yeah, I will take Elder, and I will, like, win fights off that. I can take um, Soul and be, like, much stronger for a while. Your plan can be, um, like, taking an inhibitor too, and then taking Baron, right? So, if we look at this real quick, like, for example, what Daniel would do is, like, you would take, like, one inhib at least and take Baron, and if that is so, then you try to take both of these inhibs and end. And if that doesn't work in time, at least you get both of the inhibs, but don't end in time. And then next time you just take Baron and you go end with that. That's, like, a really easy way to end. If you took two inhibs already, then taking Baron should be like completely free to get this in here and then you should have enough time to just push down and win if you took soul then kind of you end up playing for baron often and you end up playing like same win con but you're just stronger and they probably died here so you just get it for free and then maybe you get like in hips for free as well um, and it's also easier to dive and if you get elder then you can kind of skip baron but i wouldn't really recommend it you can just skip it and go like dive them or you can like take both this and this and then like go pressure like these like in hips and then if they walk up you just dive them because enemy is playing with like half hp right so yeah that's what you need to do um and obviously you need to make sure you always burn down the whole enemy jungle and you need to make sure that whenever you're losing you keep clearing you don't like tilt you don't try to help your teammates too much and so on i think these are like the biggest things i saw from the enemy jungler and the biggest thing that things that i saw that could auto lose me the game if i did them were if I tried to help my teammates and follow them and do whatever, then I would just end up being in the same shithole as them. And yeah, it would just not be good for anyone. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.